Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here with me today. I hope you're all doing well and your week started off good. I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold, I think. I just feel a little bit run down and I've got a runny nose, so I do apologise if I sound all stuffed up. If you've got any uh, recommendations for any remedies, let me know in the comment section. It would be very much appreciated. So I'm going to be doing an energy check-in for you today, Aquarius, to see what is coming up for you and the messages that you need to hear right now. I can't wait to see what these cards say. Let's get started, shall we? So Aquarius, let's get started with your messages you need to hear. I think I'll use the star seed today. I just feel drawn to use this one. So let's see what they have to say for you. Firstly though, just a little reminder Aquarius, you've been brought here for a reason. I do believe that if you were drawn to this video, there will be some messages here for you. However, it is still a general reading, so please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. I do personal readings though, if you're interested. You can find that information in the description of the video. If you feel I'm the reader for you, I'd love to connect with you, so please reach out and find all the readings available the prices how to order everything is on my website or if you would prefer more tailor-made reading if you can't find anything on the website that suits you or your needs then just drop me an email that's no problem at all i'll be happy to help and again that is found in the description of the video and for those of you who are new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Jade. I'm an Aquarius and I've created this channel to connect with more of you out there. I absolutely love the community that we've built so far on this channel. Everyone is so supportive of me and each other actually. It's really touching to see people um, helping one another in the comment section. It's really nice. We've got three cards already. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> so we've got quite a lot of cards here, Aquarius. We will be here all day and I've got a lot to get through. So I think I'm just going to take the one that's flipped over and I will put the rest back for another day. But yeah, I mean, there's seven cards on the table here. There's quite a lot of energy. I think that's enough for now. But uh, we'll be using these cards in the next reading to see if they pop out again. So Aquarius, we've got four cards left. Oh, I'll just turn this one over. And we will go through each card and I will tell you exactly how I feel and also the meaning surrounding the card to see if it resonates for you and deliver the messages that need to be heard. So the first card we've got, Aquarius, is Perspective. So this card is really telling you, Aquarius, you need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Something might not be all what it seems. So it might be a good idea to like look at it from a different angle. The message of this card is to not get too lost in your own individual experience. Try to try to embrace things as a whole and see things from different points of view. This card urges you to try to look at the common ground that can be found between you and another person. Maybe there's been a connection that is struggling lately. Try to see things from their eyes and you will get a better understanding of the whole situation and why they do the things that they do. Not everything is as black and white as it may seem. You need to ask yourself, Aquarius, how are you being called to change your perspective? Find ways of how you can look at things differently from all angles and I promise you there is knowledge to be found here and you can only gain from it. Now the next one makes me laugh a little bit. You're not for everyone is the next card, Aquarius. And of course, it would come out in our reading, wouldn't it? So Aquarius, you are unique. You are probably quirky. You may have um, a side of you that other people just don't get. Sometimes you may feel like you're a little reserved and you don't really fit in anywhere. And this card is telling you that's okay. Basically, um, you're not for everyone. Everyone, and you shouldn't be. You were born to stand out. 
Don't feel bad for being different. You should embrace your weirdness. Don't care so much of other people's opinions. I know it's easier said than done. I'm a little bit of a worrier myself. I'm guilty of it. I do understand. However, Aquarius, we all need to understand that we are perfect just the way we are. And if we were any different, then we wouldn't be ourselves. There is a truth that you do need to face about yourself. Maybe it's a good idea to just um, realise that, you know, not everyone will get you. You will only get on with certain people. That is absolutely fine. You will find your tribe, Aquarius, but do not settle and do not change yourself for the sake of others because that's not being true to yourself. Now Aquarius with this card it tells me that some of you are missing something, some of you are feeling a little lost, there could be a memory, a place, a connection or an old time or an old feeling even that you just miss, you miss experiencing it and you just, you feel a little like, a little sad that this has been gone from your life. If this card is for you, then you may be yearning for home, but you aren't really sure where that home is. You may feel like you don't really know your place in the world. You are being called Aquarius to anchor all of your presence, your personality, your soul and your spirit in the here and now. You need to ground yourself and you need to make sure that you have a stable foundation to stand on so that you don't um, get lost looking for somewhere to belong. You can belong just where you are. Any place can be made a home Aquarius as long as it's surrounded by the right people and you have the right mindset you should commit more fully to your life because it is special Aquarius I've got the golden children here telling me that you have a lot of rare gifts to offer the world I think this might be why you are feeling a little lost because you've lost the sense of your purpose when you connect more with why you're here and what you want to do in life um, and you have some kind of goal that will ground you Aquarius I think you know you have a lot more to offer the world. This card tells you that if you have a creative idea or project or a new beginning, you need to nurture this Aquarius and you need to treat yourself, allow yourself to experience these things. You need to water these seeds, encourage it to grow and watch it flourish. You will reap the rewards. If you have been feeling negative about yourself or another person, then this card also tells you to be a little bit more tender. Be kinder to yourself, Aquarius. You'll be amazed at what you can accomplish. Right, let's get the tarot card, shall we? Get that fluff off the desk, it's doing my head in. Let's see what's coming up for you. Aquarius, if you're still here and you're enjoying this video, please could you drop a little like and a comment. I love to read all of your comments. It really does brighten my day and I do try to respond to each and every one of you. Let me know if this resonates for you. That would be really handy and also it allows other Aquarius people to find this video. It will be pushed out further so other people can actually hear the messages that need to be heard. So if you do like and comment on the video, it will be a big help, not just to me, but to others as well. So thank you for doing that. Now let's see, shall we, what these cards have to say for you today. Let's see what is coming up for you, Aquarius. Oh, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love you to come back again. If you have Aquarius in your chart, then this would be the channel for you. I do Aquarius readings a few times a week and you're very welcome to join us. We have a wonderful community here on this channel and uh, we'd like you to be a part of it. So welcome. For those of you who wished me a happy birthday, thank you. It was really good. I did enjoy it. I, I caught up with a very old friend of mine who I haven't seen for actually three years. Uh, they just messaged me out the blue. So we, we had a catch up and um, it was really good. And yes, I was hungover, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see what these cards have to say. Oh, the first one out is... 
the six of wands in the reverse position that's interesting oh there's the queen of swords i don't mess with her what else do we have mm, the empress taurus energy oh okay what's this one oh the two of wands a lot of wand energy here and we also have the four of wands in the blocked position so aquarius we've got this six of wands in the reverse position here and this tells me that you might be struggling to see eye to eye with someone then there may be a uh, connection that will be struggling coming up for you if this isn't already going on there's some feelings of resentment here attached to this card maybe some some of you struggle with self-doubt you don't really know what you're capable of and you doubt yourself i'm going to slap you on the wrist aquarius and tell you you are naughty you are going to be comparing yourself to other people and that is a big no-no you need do you know how special you are you really are so so special but this card tells me that you are just going to be feeling a little down about yourself about your accomplishments and i think you're going to think that you haven't done enough some of you are struggling to be acknowledged as well maybe you feel like others aren't really paying much attention to you or listening to what you have to say um and this is going to be like the driving force of what is to come it's like some of you will feel like you failed at something um, that you just haven't been able to do something it could be a long-term goal it could be a short-term goal it could be anything really but there's going to be something coming up which will make you second guess yourself and um, it will make you think about what paths the choices that you've made and, and the mistakes that you've made as well and I think you're going to be feeling a little bit down and beating yourself up a little bit which is what I'm getting there but I mean the energy does change we've got the queen of swords so if you felt like you weren't being heard before this queen of swords tells people how it is um she just doesn't hold back I mean I wouldn't mess with her would you this is going to be your energy you will be stepping into the queen of swords basically if you don't like something you're going to let others know that you don't like something another good thing about this card is she is someone who is very driven she takes action and she's really good with her mind you will have analytical power here you will have knowledge beyond words you will be able to see things through in your head before you've even spoken about it because that's what the queen of swords does she is someone who has power over the mind this is you taking a step back and saying right i'm sorting this out i'm taking action things are going to change and you will be able to communicate more freely and also make very firm and logical decisions you are going to speak your truth and once you do you will be able to create something magical the empress is the mother of creation you will feel ready to give birth to an abundant and rich future aquarius the empress is someone who creates the positive outcomes you will be able to flourish and really be in touch of your creative side aquarius there's some dreams inside of you and i think these will be starting to make an appearance into reality you're ready for new you are ready to create you are ready to take control of your future and of your life and um, really make those changes you're sick of feeling fed up you don't want to feel like a failure anymore you don't want to feel like you've let yourself or anyone down and you want to be acknowledged this is you making a stand making those changes and definitely making sure that this is going to be different for you the two of wands is telling me that you're going to be making some plans here you've got a choice to make aquarius big choices like not small ones at all you can choose are you going to go um are you going to go and explore or are you going to settle down it's like big life choices um are you going to stay in the same job 
or are you going to go self-employed there's something coming up here whatever area of your life that you feel you're lacking in this choice will be around that it will be different for all of you but this choice is going to be a big one and i see you now making those plans a reality However, the last card is in the block position. It tells me that the energy will be switching. So you may be forgetting the importance or the simple things of life. You may also have some drama coming up, which you don't want to get caught up in, but you might find yourself amongst it all. Um, I do see like a lack of harmony and feeling a little bit disconnected as well. So there could definitely be some drama coming up. So just a heads up. Um, maybe dodge the bullet though, because obviously, Obviously, as, as it's in the block, it's not fully reversed, which means that there is a possibility for this to be in the upright, which is celebrations, um, a, a gathering of people uh, celebrating. Um, you could, I'm, I'm hearing as well, you may be getting invited uh, to some, like a social gathering as well. Some of you may get an invitation uh, just to go out and see friends and family. That's something else, another message for someone. But I definitely see... Um, celebrations coming up for you Aquarius however just don't get caught up in anything you don't need to be involved with and um, make sure you, you stay focused on the things that matter to you life is too short to worry about other people's drama we already have enough of that on our own so Aquarius what you don't see coming oh yes the lovers so Aquarius yes some of you are definitely going to be getting some romance coming in for you this could be a new romance it could be rekindling a romance that you were already involved with you will be feeling a lot more um, romantic feelings towards this person if it has been dwindling but there's definitely a big choice coming in for you as well is another meaning of that card and I've also got the queen of wands now this card tells me you're going to be feeling a lot more confident and it's something that you you won't be expecting maybe you have been beating yourself up feeling a little bit down but this time your energy will be shifting into someone who is vibrant who is the life and soul of the party and you're just going to feel so upbeat and passionate about everything i've got the three of pentacles here as well so there's going to be some kind of teamwork coming up for you and you won't expect it you will be cooperating with someone maybe with people that you never thought that you would work well with them but actually it does work out to be okay could be work life or personal really but i just see a lot of teamwork i do see you getting on with other people and making an effort to do things together i've got the high priestess as well so you are going to be feeling a lot more connected to your intuition i think that some of you are going to have some kind of an, an awakening where you will be a lot more spiritual and you'll be able to connect and see beyond the realm being able to know exactly how you feel and trust your good instincts and when you do aquarius i've got the ace of cups this is happiness a definite seed of hope here which is ready to be planted i see you becoming a lot more joyful and definitely feeling those um exciting uh dreamlike feelings there's definitely some romance coming in for some of you here you're going to be feeling overflowing with joy and um feeling very fulfilled as well as we can see the cup here it's so much filled that uh, it's actually overflowing which is how i'm feeling as well you're going to be feeling like you know you're on top of the world you will be seeing though a lot more difficult choices to be made um i think there's going to be choices for you which they both kind of look similar but they're a little bit different so i think that you're going to be stuck with which one to choose because they may both have good outcomes um which might make the decision harder so that's just a heads up for you aquarius you may feel a little confused a little conflicted about what you've got to decide on so just uh just a heads up just have a think though i'm sure you will choose the right one when it comes to it now i'll sit back down because i'm old now i'm 34 i'm joking i know it's not that old but i do feel it sometimes <laughs> Especially when I get hangovers that last three days. I never used to get them, but I do now. 
that's why I don't go out much. I just can't hack it anymore. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to get you some musical oracles now. I know some of you don't like these. That's fine. You can skip this part. I'm going to be doing a mini reading with the What's the Tea Tarot and also Charms at the end if you want to skip. Um, so, yeah, these musical oracles, I love music and I love tarot. Very passionate about both of them. Thank you for recommending the songs in the last one as well. They were really cool. I love finding new artists. I really appreciate that. If you like this singer or if they resonate with you or if it's the messages that you need here, um, then it just validates that reading even further for you. So let's see uh, who we get today. Did you know Bob Marley has got a um, new film out? Let me know if you've seen it. Shakira wanted to make an appearance. Let's see if she pops out. Let me know if you've seen it. My daughter saw it at the um, at the weekend. She said it's really good. So I'm actually thinking of going to watch it. Oh, one's went flying there. Yeah, they've made a film about Bob Marley's life. It should be interesting. So who wanted the flying lesson? Oh, that was uh, Tina Turner. <laughs> There's also going to be an Amy Winehouse film coming out. I can't wait to see that. Oh, just one mystery one. Oh, let's put this one to the side and we will see what these say first. We've got Barbara Streisand. Fake it till you make it. It's easy to fool yourself, but hard to fool an audience. If you can't go right to the top, then find somewhere else to go. It's very interesting. And next we've got Beethoven here. A wrong note is insignificant. Playing without passion is inexcusable. And listen. Destiny is knocking at your door. Conduct a symphony in silence. Next up we have Ella Fitzgerald and she says you are your own best teacher. Nothing is more hard won than innocence and intuition beats experience. That's very true. I always trust my intuition. We've got the pilot Tina Turner here. It's not what happens, what that matters. It's how you deal with it. Purge your life of whatever brings you down. And the most beautiful lotus blooms in the deepest mud. That's very true. Now who's the mystery? Oh, John Lennon. Great. Not everything you see is a mirage. Not everything you hear is a lie. If you enjoy wasting time, then it isn't wasted. And peace is the only thing worth fighting for. Wonderful, I enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. Now I'm going to be getting you a little mini reading um, with my What's the Tea tarot, uh, sorry, Oracle cards absolutely fantastic i'm going to be doing some separate readings with these but i'm just um letting you get a little feel for it to see if you like it so i'm including it with the aquarius readings for now uh, it is for anyone who feels drawn to it it could be about a situation that you've been through that you are going through or that's yet to come so if you feel drawn to it then it will be for you if not you can skip of course i'll do the charms at the end or you can stick around and see what the juicy gossip is. Absolutely love these cards. So let's see what we get today. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Here we are. So these are What's the Tea Oracle cards. You can find them on Etsy if you're curious and you want to get your own. They're absolutely brilliant. I'm not being sponsored or anything to say that I just like to help out other businesses really if I can recommend something I enjoy to some of you then I will definitely let you know if it's worth it or not these cards are one of those and um, I just love them absolutely wonderful the messages the pictures the stories and they're quite funny too they're really cool right enough talk oh someone's waiting for something this card was the only one turned over so that definitely needs to come out as you can see they're all uh, facing the other way there so someone is waiting for something what are you waiting for let's see shall we i'm interested to know 
Just to remind you, Aquarius, if you're not sick of me out of this reading, then I've got a very special one linked in the description of the video. It's called The Big Year Read. It's got all the months of the year 2024 timestamps, so you can see the whole year ahead. Um, it's in the description of the video, so just click the link and it will take you straight to it. It's a very big reading, a very special one as well. I really hope you enjoy it just as much as I did making it. So interesting to see how the year is going to plan out. Okay, Aquarius, let's get into this juicy gossip here. Let's see what is going on. We've got we've got Queen rising. Oh, are you waiting to boss up or something? Are you waiting to? Oh, we have fake smile. They lost their chance, or you did. Oh dear. And now, oh, I've got child services there. And the last one I've got down here is running. Whoever this is for, um, I'm very sorry for calling this juicy gossip. It's not juicy gossip at all. Someone is obviously struggling here. And I really am sorry about what I said before. Um, I didn't know it was going to come this way or anything. But someone obviously needs help. If this is not your reading, please could you give this person advice in the comments and just send out love. I think they do need to hear it. So whoever this is for, I see that it starts with you waiting for something. You could be waiting to hear news. You could be waiting to um, for the right time, I'm feeling. I'm hearing that as well. Waiting for the right time. There's something here about it's like a waiting game. You're just waiting for the time to be right. You're waiting to hear back from something. You're waiting for your energy to be shifted or you're, you may be waiting to gather some kind of resources here so that you can um, make some kind of getaway is really what I'm feeling. I've got Queen rising here as well. Um, you know, you are trying to rise up here. You are trying to step into your own power or you may act like you have all of your um, stuff going on here. You may act like everything's fine. You might be wearing a, a fake smile. Um, I do see you maybe feeling like everyone's watching you you have an image to protect and you're trying to raise your head up high while dealing with all of this uh, stuff that's going on with you you may be waiting to come into your own power again for your confidence to grow so that you can be the person that you once were because i think you feel a little lost that you may have lost that sense of yourself um, amongst all of this mess and you do wear a fake smile you let everyone else think that it's all okay um, you don't really let anyone in and you don't tell others uh, of your feelings at all I think that you're just trying to show that you're not bothered that everything's good you may be pretending that everything's okay so that you can um, make some plans uh, behind someone's back so you don't really get um, noticed much or, or you or you don't you don't get outed before you've even begun to execute these plans someone's lost their chance with you um or you did you there's a there's a few stories here so i see that someone could definitely be on the on their last chance with you you're getting fed up now you're you're nearly about done or you may feel like you've lost your chance with something very important to you um, and you're you're feeling hurt about it but you're keeping this inside i've got the child services card here um which is why it's it's a very touching reading it's quite an emotional one i just feel like you feel like it's it's you've lost you've lost out on something here or someone has pushed it too far um especially of course if this is involving your children someone could be doing something in the household which is putting your children at risk of being taken and i think you are worried about this i think you know that this is a toxic environment and that this person who you have living with you um or who you are involved with is not good for them and you are maybe scared that if they don't change their ways 
your your children could be taken and of course that's something that's weighing heavy on your on your mind here i can feel with this card it's a very heavy energy there um, which is why you are probably making a plan to get out of this situation. You want to take your babies and you want to run. And I don't blame you. Um, I think this person has just pushed it too far. And now you know what the risk could be. Um, it's clear to you what you need to do now. And I think you, you are trying to get out of this as fast as you can. This could be about something from the past. Um, it could be about a situation you're going through now. I'm uh, I'm sending you love and light, honestly, if you are. Um, it could also be a, a situation to come. So just take it however it resonates for you, if you feel drawn. I'm going to find out what's going to happen with the situation. I pray it's good news. Oh honestly if you need any advice any any if anyone has been through something similar i know it's a personal issue here but if you don't mind sharing in the comments so people can read it um or if you just have some words of wisdom that they could maybe use right now some encouragement uh, that would be fantastic i really appreciate all of you and as i said before it's touching to see you helping each other in the comments section this community here on youtube is so strong and i really appreciate and love every single one of you oh we've got quite a few cards here for you so we will just sort out this energy here okay sometimes with readings it's not always sunshines and rainbows this is real life it's real situations here sometimes people just need um a voice they need guidance and they just need some help and honestly that is the main reason why i do read cards i want to help others that is the main reason why i do this so if i can help someone it really is all worth it to me so what i have here is a mixture of cards now i'm not sure which one came out first jackpot or bad habit so i'm going to read both outcomes just so i i can get it right um say so i've got these cards here let me just sort these out so the first card i've got here says and shit or oh, and sorry about the bad language obviously these cards um are not very uh, child friendly shall i say <laughs> it says and shit and it tells me that you've just had enough of their crap you really have um you aren't falling you're not going to fall for their lies anymore their manipulation will not work and you know that this person talks a load of bull as well they are cloud hungry they say anything or do anything and they make things up which is a key part here this person is going to lie about you i think when you do leave this person they will lie about you and they will tell everyone that you maybe got with them for the wrong reasons that you are a gold digger and that you um or that you've gone off with someone else uh, richer or something just to make you look bad instead of actually facing up to the reality that they were the problem so they're going to try and get back at you at in that way by the way by making up lies but you know maybe another story is you married this person or got with this person for the wrong reasons and um, and you feel so lonely you really do even if they've married you for money there's a few storylines here but i definitely see a marriage or um, a big commitment it's for the wrong reasons and you just feel so alone they are a thief they could steal something from you um or this can also be pointing to the fact that they've drained you emotionally they've stolen all of your feelings all of those hopes and desires that you once had have been a thing of the past because this person hasn't been honest about who they were and you've kind of committed yourself to something to a stranger really because you didn't know them like this at all when you met them but you're fed up you are absolutely fed up and you're sick of this um you you know you just you want to forget about this all this is you're done 
Now, as I said before, we've got these two cards here. The first one, bad habits. If this came out first, it tells me that this person may have an addiction. This might be why you are scared that they are going to be, uh, that social services or um, child services will be getting involved because they may have a drug addiction, for example. Um, and you are scared that if this gets out, they will come and take the children. Um, but I do see that you will come into some kind of money here i see that you will be able to create a more stronger and stable foundation if you're waiting for some security in order to leave this will definitely come for you uh, but of course you, you don't need to wait for this you can make a better life on your own please don't stick around and get yourself out of this situation as quick as you can the other outcome, what I'm kind of getting here, oh, I've just heard that you're going to get some money unexpectedly. You may win something, that could be inheritance, but there's some kind of money coming in, so that's wonderful. Um, but the outcome again, if the if that if they came out reversed, if the jackpot came out first and the bad habits uh, last, it tells me that this person may be a gambler. And um, that might be their bad habit. You know, they, they could, they may have come into money and this has enabled them to uh, grow this addiction even stronger. Even if it's drugs, maybe they've just come into some money and they've basically wasted it all on um, substance abuse or something like that is another message of the card. What you don't see coming, oh, I've got a girl fight there. Oh, love in the brain karmic friends and we've also got broke and child neglect under that so yeah you need to get out of the situation honestly it's not in your favor to stay and um, it will not get better so please put yourself first get out of this situation you can um change the way how these cards go you can change your path as we always say, you have the choice of free will, so you can definitely make those changes. I wish you the best. I really, really do. I know it's not easy to get out of some something like this, but you will be so thankful to yourself that you did, honestly. I'm sending you love and light. Let's get some charms here so we can close off. We've got quite a few here for you. The first one is the anchor. Now this represents hope and connecting to your roots as well and creating a more stable foundation for yourself. Wonderful charm to have. The next one is the biggest butterfly I have. Tells me you will be transforming your life, coming out of that cocoon and spreading your wings. It also carries messages um, from your loved ones in spirit so keep an eye out for butterflies it doesn't have to be real life could just be pictures of them as well i've also got the number five it tells me you will be more balanced and i see a lot of growth for you here is a musical note it tells me some of you are definitely musically gifted you could be a singer or play an instrument and it validates that reading further but it does also mean free spirit Oh, we've got a beautiful little bear here. So the bear represents motherhood. It can represent a bond that you may have with a parent or with a child. And it also represents strength, courage and leadership skills. You see that beautiful bear there. Your confidence may also be growing as well because that's another meaning of that charm. Wonderful. And we have, what's this one? Oh, so we've got a smiley face telling me that happier times are coming towards you, Aquarius. You know what I'm hearing? Your smile will no longer be fake for the people or person who that reading was for. Wonderful. Now, the last charm we have is a lovely little frog. And this represents prosperity, good luck, good fortune, um, transformation and fertility. Wonderful. Well, Aquarius, brilliant reading. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I have. I really enjoyed this. And I really hope you come back again as well. So make sure you click that subscribe button so I can see you again. I'll get another reading out in a couple of days, I think. I've got my bedroom to paint, so wish me luck. Well, Aquarius, have a wonderful week ahead. I will see you very soon. Love and light to all of you and take care. Bye for now.